Monday the 12th, and we're starting another week of writing, of Camp Nano timelining, actually. I hope you enjoy your visit. completed the timeline for the first story two days ago. I took a break yesterday and now I get to the point where I need to merge or I need to figure out the timeline for the other stories and I guess it's sort of like outlining except I'm not thinking of specific plot points. I think I'm just more getting some general information um, but only Tristan has a story associated to him and so I need three more stories and so I have pulled my handy Grimm's fairy tale book off the shelf to kind of find some stories that would be appropriate. And I think that's kind of what I'm going to be working on today is trying to figure out their stories. Since Izzy has interaction with all of her siblings in the first story via phone, and then, I mean, for example, her sister Brigid, she was working with to help her out, and then Brigid's like, nope, can't do it, I have something else going on, you know, I got a life as well. And I think Brigid's more doing that because she doesn't want to tell Izzy I have magic happening around me because she hasn't been raised in that world and she doesn't want to accept that. Her and Izzy are a lot of like in certain personality quirks, which is why they butt heads a lot. So, like, I need to find out what's going on. Like, I need to choose their fairy tales to get better idea of, you know, things that are happening to them. And... So that's my plan today. July 19th and I am back here to do some more writing. I finally figured out what the other fairy tales are for my story and now and I know the points in the first story that I have mapped out when 
the siblings are calling one another. Now I just need to put in some information, more information and get to more of a concrete of what's going on. Oh yeah. Mm, I'm tired. So, so yeah, that is the plan today. I'm excited because potentially for next NaNoWriMo, I could start writing one of the companion novels in this series. I'm thinking of at least zero drafting all of them before I go back and ver first draft the first one I wrote. That way I just have a better idea. It's an idea I got from Kate Cavanaugh. That way your stories are more seamless and go together. So yesterday I put in the major plot points that I think I need for the timeline. And I think that's as far as I can go since I am a pantser and I'm just going to have to sit down and write the zero drafts in order to know what happens next. 